One of the things I talk about a lot, not only on this channel, but in general, is design communication. Being clear about what you want and how to execute it. And one of the ways we communicate as fashion designers is through sketching. Now I talked about the different types of fashion sketches in this video, and each of those sketches require a different type of fashion sketch template, or you might hear people call it a fashion croquis. And which template you use is pretty important to clearly communicate what you want. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Mikkel Drew Pelham, a digital fashion specialist teaching digital fashion design and communication. If you like geeking out and learning about digital fashion software and design communication, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's talk about fashion sketch templates. There's really only three kinds and two of them can be used for the same types of sketches. It's just a matter of preference. And from there, you can pose them differently. But there's the eight head figure, the nine head figure, and the 10 head figure. Most designers either use the eight or nine head, so that's what we'll be discussing in this video. So when you're talking about these two types of fashion croquis, what do we mean by heads? It literally means that the height of the sketch is equal to either eight heads or nine heads. An eight head figure is what I normally use because I mostly draw flats and technical sketches. And when you get to the point where you need to draw a flat sketch, and if you're manufacturing garments, you will, this is the flat sketch template you need. It is proportional to the size of a regular regular body, whereas the nine head figure is more elongated and will make your flat sketch look disproportionate. Now, a good eight head figure will look like this. And it doesn't matter if it's very detailed or not, you're just drawing your design over top of it. So unlike an illustration where you'd render eyes and limbs and you're really wanting it to capture the attitude of your garment, the purpose of the flat sketch is to capture the fit, proportion, and details. The details of the body don't really matter here. It's all about the garment. But what you do want, particularly if you are new to flat sketching, are guides for key points of the body, like a guide for center front, the apex, the waist, the low and high hip, the ankle. This helps ensure that the fit and proportion of what you're drawing is accurate. So when you hand over that sketch to a pattern maker or a manufacturer or even your assistant, they can quickly tell from the look of your sketch how long the garment is, how long other details like sleeves are, if it's a relaxed or tight fit, and then of course all of the details of your design. Your nine head figure is great for an illustration or even a quick rendering. One of the things I had my students do last semester was hand sketch their designs. And initially I had them do them on the eight head figure, but I think doing it on the nine head is a better option. You can get the idea out. And if you're someone who likes doodling and adding faces and hands and shoes, a nine head figure is more conducive to that. Although it's not as necessary because this sketch template is already elongated and disproportionate, it's also a good idea to have a template with key points on the body. At one time, I would tell you to go through the process of creating a head, duplicating it seven or eight times, and then flushing out the drawing to create your croaky template. But at this point, there are so many free fashion sketch templates you can download yourself. I don't even feel like it's the best use of your time to create your own. If you find one that you really like, but there's one or two little things you're not that happy with, download it anyway, and then customize it by either tracing over it by hand, or what I think is the best way because it's more editable, trace it in Illustrator. The main thing is to make sure you're choosing the right fashion sketch template for your needs. If you're drawing flat sketches or drawing roughs and you usually make quick drawings over garments, the eight head croquis is the best option for you. If you're going to create an illustration or you wanna do a freehand drawing of your design that conveys more of the mood and overall look, a nine head fashion croquis is a better choice. 
If you're looking for a great eight head croquis, you can click on the link in the video description to download my free fashion sketch template. And you can check out this video if you want some guidance on how to, you can use it in Illustrator. I've used this template for years to flat sketch and it even has a side view. And I'll be releasing a new free nine head croquis, so stay tuned. Otherwise, if you need a nine head croquis right now, you can always Google for it and you'll get lots of options, including videos and blogs on how to make your own if that's what you wanna do. The last thing I'll say about these templates is that they are meant to serve as a guide and particularly if you want to be an illustrator, be sure you're also working on finding your style of drawing. If you're manufacturing physical garments, it doesn't matter as much if you stick to the style of the template because ultimately, the end product is a garment, not the sketch. But if you're an illustrator, the end product is the illustration. So the templates are great to use as you improve your drawing skills, but eventually you wanna let your individual creativity come through. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're new to fashion sketching and sketching an illustrator, make sure you check out the links in the description to take my online course or for private tutoring. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.